I've been picking up a lot of rushing yardage the last few games. Uh, how's he, do you feel like the O-line is playing better or what's, what's coming together? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're just, uh, you know, we had some few tweaks in the off season in terms of our, our, our scheme and everything like that. So, I mean, I think it just takes a few weeks sometimes to, to get everybody on the same page, mm -hmm. kind of get that synergy or that chemistry back that we had. I mean, we had a few guys who were injured, like uh, Khalil, you know, working them back into the fold. So I think it, it plays in a little bit with everybody, not just the O-line, but just kind of the, the whole offense catching their stride and uh, playing up to the level we know we're capable of. How much was a lift was that getting Khalil back? I know he played a little bit against Kansas, but got his got a start this last yeah. week. Uh, it's definitely good to, good to have him back. I mean, everybody knows the the talent and the skill set that uh, Khalil brings to the table. But I mean, I think between Gavin Byers and Khalil, uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to be a D lineman lined up across from either one of them when they're rotating in the game and both of them are fresh. So I mean, I wouldn't want to line up across either one of those guys. So getting Khalil back and you know getting Gavin more rest and Khalil more rest, getting them into the game, rotating. Uh, I mean, I think that was a uh, a great thing for the O line to, to have them back. In what way does the way that Richard runs the ball um, inspire you guys to kind of want to block for him? Uh, I mean, I think he just has a real natural feel of the game, as well as, uh, you know, he's not afraid to, to, to put his shoulder down and, and fight for extra yards, uh, just kind of the mentality. And I think all of our running backs kind of have that, uh, you know, really makes us want to go out there. Uh, you know, win the line of scrimmage and fight for every extra yard. I mean, if the guys in the backfield are willing to do that, then especially as one of the big guys up front, uh, I mean, it makes you want to do that as well. You want to have success, but as an offense as a whole, how satisfying is it when you're up three scores or however much you guys were up to then get another touchdown late in the game, almost kind of show your dominance from quarter one to quarter four? Uh, I mean, it feels really good to, to keep on uh, you know, scoring touchdowns. I mean, like like we say in football, touchdowns are forever. You can never take those back. So, you know, we never take one for granted. I mean, uh, to just kind of up our run run efficiency, kind of uh, impose our will, especially as an offensive lineman. Uh, I mean, that's what you love to see week in and week out. So, I mean, no matter what the score is, we're never satisfied. We're always looking to to you know put more on top of what we already got. When looking at the film so far this week, what do you see from Oklahoma's defense, their front seven, things like that? Uh, you know, Oklahoma really uh, isn't afraid to run anything. I mean, they'll really throw everything but the kitchen sink at you. So, you know, twists on the line of scrimmage, uh, a lot of blitzes, even the, a lot of safety trails, safeties getting in the mix uh, in terms of like their front seven. So they're going to they're gonna move a lot, have a lot of moving pieces up front as well as they play physical. I mean, they got a lot of twitchy guys up front who can uh, pass rush really well. So. Uh, I mean, I think you can really expect to see almost anything from Oklahoma, so you got to prepare for a lot of different things when you're playing their front. You guys have played in a, a lot of tough road environments. Are, are you all feeling more comfortable when you go out there now? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of that just comes from maturity. I mean, a lot of, we, we got a lot of younger guys playing, uh, you know, redshirt guys who maybe weren't traveling last year, true freshman guys who haven't necessarily, uh, you know, been on some of these away road games yet. So I think a little bit of that was just getting their feet wet. Uh, I mean, we didn't play great on the road last year, too, us older guys. So some of that was just a self-evaluation and kind of thinking, how, how can we improve in, uh, in that situation in a hostile environment? So I think that's another thing that we're kind of catching our stride in. And you know we're feeling confident going into the weekend. Could you see a big difference, say, uh, against Tech last week and like the BYU game, just as far as the approach? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just think we were a lot more intentional in practice. Uh, we kind of had our in our heads what we wanted to do that we uh, that weekend against Texas Tech, what we were setting out to uh, accomplish, and we weren't really thinking about the environment or uh, kind of the situation we were heading into. We were more so self-evaluating and reflecting on what we needed to improve on, uh, what we needed to get better at, uh, you know, to, to come out victorious. Great. Your story was told by the Big 12, um, you know, a couple weeks ago. Just what does that mean for you to kind of be a model for other kids? Uh, you know, it means a lot to me. A lot of, uh, you know, what I said and uh, when I was up there at Big 12 Media Days was true. Uh, you know, it means a lot to me to uh, maybe have somebody out there, you know, looking up to me. I mean, that was really the biggest thing for me is you don't know what little kids or other people out there who may resonate with your story. Uh, you know, you think that you're just coming, kind of coming out here practicing just another guy, just another football player but you really never know who's looking up to you or you know, who you may be able to inspire. So, I mean, I think that 
really goes hand in hand with a lot of stuff. Coach Miranda says like how you do anything is how you should be doing everything. So, uh, you know, really just not taking anything for granted, giving your 100% in anything you do because you never know who's watching. Grant, at this point, do you see the finish line, that kind of thing, or do you even think about, is it more just getting through the next game to the next game, but knowing that you may only have four or five games left? Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes those thoughts creep into your head, you know, as a senior, uh, you know, you don't want to take your moments for granted. You start thinking about what's life going to be like, you know, not, you know, when you don't have those days every day uh, in the locker room with you and your teammates. But there's also a certain part of it where you got to come back and kind of be where your feet are, uh, you know, focus on each week. Uh, I mean, because really any week can be your last week when you're playing football, no matter, uh, you know, if you're a senior, freshman whatever it may be. So you can't be really too focused on looking forward in the future. You got to focus on what you what you can accomplish every single day, what you can get better at every single day, and really just focus on the game game on Saturday.